WHSC's Amelia Namias tells us how adoption changed their lives. For seven years, Jaden Birch chased the dream of one day finding a place to call home. It's, it's a mystery all the time. It's basically a mystery. When Jaden was seven years old, he was removed from an abusive home, then spent the next seven years in and out of foster care across the state and placed in four different homes. The last one before that, that wasn't going to be a permanent. The last one before that, the woman locked me in my room. And the last one before that, they threw me outside. A heartbreaking story for Jillian Birchley to hear. A Timberville mother who has opened her door to so many other teen foster children in the valley. I couldn't imagine being in their shoes. I could not imagine being that age and having nobody or nothing. It's not like they can pick up the phone and, and talk to their parents or a grandparent. They, they're taken away from everything that they know. When she first met him, it was tough, but Jillian wouldn't give up on him. I could see that he was a very angry young man, which, to be quite honest with you, I couldn't blame him for being angry. Um, so I said to myself, you know what? If he's willing to work at it, then so am I, and we can make this work. I was nervous and mad because I didn't want to be adopted the same time. Why didn't you want to be adopted? Because I was afraid it was going to happen over and over. But for Mahala Alt, her life was very different. I just remember somebody holding me. That's all I remember. As a baby in Romania, Mahala Alt's birth mother left her at an orphanage hoping to give her a better life. It came at just the right time for Patricia Alt, who couldn't have her own little girl and wasn't having any luck adopting here in the U.S. In the States, it, it's very complicated, and um, so doors just started opening to adopt in Romania. She was concerned about attachment issues and how difficult adopting older children can be. A common issue social worker Don Keister sees working with children of all ages. Older kids have seen more or experienced more, and a lot of times their behaviors can be a little more extreme than, you know, an infant or a toddler. Luckily for the Alts, they were able to create the family they were looking for and give Mahela the life she deserves. But she's, she's been remarkable. She has. Jaden and Mahela have come leaps and bounds since being adopted. Like any mother, Patricia spends time getting Mahela up to speed with her schoolwork. When we brought her home, she was two and a half, but she was developmentally a six month. But for Jaden, it wasn't as easy. Having been through multiple homes and heartbreaks, he struggled with behavior issues landing him in treatment centers. Even though adopted, past lives leave kids with questions. I've always wanted to know what my real mom was like. Like, was she a singer? What was she good at? Some of those questions may never be answered. Jaden wonders about his two little sisters he hasn't seen in seven years. Not very concerned. But they, I, I know they can defend for themselves. While finding what we call home isn't always easy, Jaden can finally call Jillian mom. Oh, he always calls me mom. Yeah, I'm mom. Mm -hmm. He's been calling me mom since day one. I'm mom. While both have different life experiences, they have one thing in common. They were both adopted into loving homes. It's that unconditional love that someone like Jaden needs. My mom has told me that she's loved me and that's all I that's all I think a, an adopted person really wants to hear. I, I very often think to myself where would they be if they weren't here and um, I know where they are I know I can keep them safe so that makes me feel good. Amelia Namias, WHSV.